Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots' YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And what you see right here is your receiver tube on your front uh, nose strut torque tube, and this is the one that runs laterally through here and supports this. These are the shock absorbers, and this is the shock absorber piece. And we've had this one completely off. We've cleaned it and gotten all the RTV off of it, and now we're ready to reinstall it all back for putting the thing. But what I want to call your attention to is if you've got a 77, 78, or 79 and you've got these shock absorbers, it's not just enough to pull the front strut out of here every two years if you're in a hangar, uh, every two years if you're on the ramp, and every three years if you're in a hangar, every year called out in the uh, check sheet. But you need to take the shock absorbers loose and clean them and look at what kind of condition this receiver tube is in. And this one's in great shape. Uh, no problems here with it at all. But what happens is if you don't take those receiver tubes off, when they sit on here, they completely, well, I'm not going to be able to, oh, there we go, finally. <clears throat> when they sit on here like this with everything all hooked up to them, you can't, see under, you can't see underneath them. And therefore, you don't know what's going on in that receiver tube. And to show you what I mean, stand by for some fun. And just as a side note on the torque tube, uh, that receiver piece goes here in the center. Um, these torque tubes right now are $1,675 from Fletch Air. Um, they take 20 to 24 hours to replace in and out of the airplane. Pick a shop rate of whatever you like and you can see you're talking a, a couple of thousand dollars just to change this tube plus buy it. These torque tubes also have a core. If you talk to Juan, the core is $400. If you talk to Steve, it's $600. So $1,675, let's take Juan's core charger, $400. This is $2,075. There's your motivation to inspect it every two years and make sure this isn't happening to your airplane. So anyway, that's a little call out on how to save some money. Thanks for watching. So right here, you see, here's the top of one receiver tube that nobody ever bothered to um, take off and inspect. Look how pitted that is. And those pits are more than 30,000, which completely rejected uh, this motor mount, uh, this torque tube, sorry. Uh, here's another one. Again, on the top, completely pitted and etched and rust. You know, I'm knocking rust off with my finger. Uh, was frozen on the strut, and we had to actually... Uh, die grind it right off the airplane very carefully to try to save the strut which unfortunately underneath was all bad so you really need to check underneath that receiver tube for the shock absorbers and we hope you find this informative and we really hope you don't find this on your airplane when you go looking have a good day and have fun flying